Okay, friends, let's talk this time about thread color. So one of the things that I like to do is uh, audition my threads. So I have a, a huge box over here of threads. And um, when I do the Crooked Christmas tree, I like for my star to be the thread of whatever color it is. Because I'm not doing this on the long arm because it's not huge, I actually like to change color for what I'm doing. Um, I have been known to change color for each of these, but I also have found that if I quilt them all the same color, it helps the tree feel more cohesive. So I have this um, orange and pink. It's kind of hard for you to tell. Um, this is actually the orange, so it blends good on the orange, but not on the pink. Pink blends good here, and well, I shouldn't say not. It actually does pretty good on either of them. I'm happy with either one of those options, um, but my backing fabric is uh, this kind of orange color here. So, sorry, <laughs> hang with me here for a second. Um, so that feels like it works there. And I like using the same color in my top and my bottom. Uh, I won't do that for the green. I will only do that for the tree. So I'll put this in the backing for the whole back uh, and then I'll use it for the tree. I'll get a brown or something for the this down here. And then for the green, I have this dark green here that blends really well or this light green, which I don't like. So I'm not gonna use it because I don't want it to stand out. I want the tree to stand out. And that's really the decision you need to make. So you can go like, Super cool, fun, um, quilting in this. Uh, but you also can just work with the flow of the tree. And I actually like to, I'll stitch in the ditch around the tree. And then I just like to do wavy lines back and forth in the tree. When I get down here, I use a, like a wood grain idea. And then in the star, I actually like to just outline the star. Uh, with the five points, like I were drawing it as a kid, trying to draw, draw a five point star and it leaves little puffies here. You can do that or you can um, do wavy lines in here too. And then in the green, I like to do um, the same thing all over. So I'm thinking about doing a little a teardrop with teardrops inside. It's called something. I don't know what it's called or I'll do wavy lines all over, but I like the teardrop idea. This will be flat and this will be a little poofy if I do that. So a couple things to think about. One, um, how close together are your lines? Uh, if you put your wavy lines really close together, this will be flatter and uh, it will, if this is um, not as close together, it'll be a little more poofy and so it'll give it contrast and contrast will help your tree stand out. So. Um, I'm just going to do this on my uh, domestic, obviously, because it's small, um, and I'll get a couple shots of that, but quilt, be brave, go for it. Um, you know, there are tons of videos in the world on quilting. Do, the, do, what, uh, do what you do best, but don't be afraid of it. You can totally do this. This is a great way to practice, okay?